Hello there. Today, on the day of its reopening, we will be taking a look at all the attractions within Shanghai Disneyland. If this is your first time visiting Disney Parks Attic, we make videos about all the Disney parks around the world. So if that's something you're interested in, then consider subscribing now to keep up to date with all our future content. I'll go through all the attractions land by land, working my way clockwise around the park. At the end of the video, I will take a sneak peek at all the attractions that will be coming over the next few years. So be sure to stick to the end of the video to see these exciting new additions. Let's start with the first land as you enter the park, Mickey Avenue. All the other castle parks around the world feature the iconic Main Street USA. But due to cultural differences, Shanghai Disneyland decided to go with the unique Mickey Avenue. I'm glad they decided to go with this original design as it offers something special that can only be found at this Disneyland. Mickey Avenue offers one attraction, which is Mickey's Film Festival. A continuous loop of short cartoons featuring Mickey Mouse set in the amazing Walt Disney Grand Theater that also houses a separate ticketed Broadway show, Beauty and the Beast, in the evenings. This is a seasonal offering and there are no show times, so if you get the chance to see this, do it. Once you have made your way through Mickey Avenue, you will come to the main hub of the park, Gardens of Imagination. This land features seven Chinese gardens with an amazing mural of the 12 animals of the Chinese Zodiac represented by Disney characters. It also has two classic Disney attractions, Dumbo the Flying Elephant and the unique Fantasia Carousel, based on a movie that I forgot the name of. You can also meet your favorite Marvel character in the special pavilion called Marvel Universe. Gardens of Imagination has lots to explore and gives plenty of space to watch the parades and fireworks. Now on to the most futuristic Tomorrowland that has ever been built in a Disney park. The first attraction you come to is the spinning spaceship ride Jetpacks, similar to the Astro Orbiter that can be found at other Disney parks. The next attraction, Tron Light Cycle Power Run, is one of the most popular rides in the park with its sleek design and motorcycle styled ride cars. Personally, I prefer to ride this attraction at night as the distinctive blue neon lights in the outdoor section makes you feel you are really in the grid. This unique ride experience will be joining Walt Disney World in 2021 and if the rumors are true, it may also be added to Disneyland in the coming future. Tomorrowland also features everyone's favorite shooting dark ride, Buzz Lightyear Planet Rescue, where you fight alongside Buzz to defeat the evil Emperor Zerg. The last attraction in Tomorrowland is Stitch Encounter, an interactive show for the younger guests. This show is only in Mandarin, but can still be enjoyable to watch. Although Shanghai Disneyland only opened in 2016, it added its first expansion in April 2018, which brings us to the next land, Toy Story Land. It features three attractions, Rex Racer, a steel shuttle roller coaster, which gives you some high thrills for such a simple ride. Slinky Dog Spin, a caterpillar style ride, which is a great way to introduce younger children to thrill rides. And Woody's Roundup, a flat ride that whips guests around to a pumping soundtrack. This one is very similar to Alien Swirling Saucers at Hollywood Studios and Mater's Junkyard Jamboree at Disney's California Adventure. Now onto Fantasyland. This is the park's largest land and features the wonderful Enchanted Storybook Castle. As the biggest castle of all the Disney castles, it combines all the classic Disney princesses to create a very unique hybrid castle. It features a walkthrough attraction named Once Upon a Time Adventure, a restaurant, and even Voyage to the Crystal Grotto, a boat ride that goes around and under the castle that takes guests past scenes from films including Tangled, Aladdin, Mulan, Fantasia, The Little Mermaid, and Beauty and the Beast. The other attractions in Fantasyland include the exciting roller coaster Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, 
which can also be found at Magic Kingdom. The classic Peter Pan's flight, which includes updated technology like animated projection to create the splashdown effect, as well as its use on characters throughout the ride, which helps to give it a more modern feel. You can get lost in Alice's Curious Labyrinth, a walkthrough hedge maze inspired by the film adaptions from 1951 and 2010. You can also enjoy the show, for the first time in forever, a frozen sing-along celebration, even if it's in Mandarin. The last two attractions are Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, a dark ride featuring all the lovable characters from the books and animations, and Honey Pot Spin, a spinning teacup style ride to the theme of everybody's favorite honey-loving bear. We now move over to the east side of the park and to the last two lands. Treasure Cove is a pirate-themed land that has, in my opinion, the best attraction that Disney has ever created. Pirates of the Caribbean battle for the sunken treasure. It has the largest show building in Disney history, which it needs to house the massive jaw-dropping scenes within the ride. It uses a magnetic ride system which can move the ride vehicles forwards, backwards, sideways, up and down slopes, and even drops. All the special effects and animations were created by the same company used for the film franchise. Disney Imagineering really pulled out all the stops for this one. Also, did you know that it includes water from each of the other four Pirate of the Caribbean rides? Treasure Cove also has a fun show called Eye of the Storm, Captain Jack's Stunt Spectacular, which features an amazing live whirlwind effect. You can also take a leisurely paddle in the Explorer Canoes around Treasure Cove and into our last land, Adventure Isle. Adventure Isle is Shanghai's counterpart to Adventureland, and it has three great attractions. Roaring Rapids is a rapids-based water ride that has a rich and unique backstory, with its association to the League of Adventurers, which can be linked to Indiana Jones, Atlantis the Lost Empire, and the Society of Explorers and Adventurers. It features all the usual drops and rapids, but also a massive audio animatronic of a giant crocodilian beast named Karat. Make sure you have your poncho for this one. Soaring Over the Horizon is the popular hand gliding flying attraction that takes you through beautiful scenery from around the world. It is similar to the attractions in Epcot, Disney's California Adventure and Tokyo Disney Sea, albeit with a completely different pre-show and queue line. Now we have come to the last attraction and one of my favorites, Camp Discovery Challenge Trials, a thrilling elevated rope course giving guests three options to traverse the terrain of Roaring Mountain. This hands-on attraction gave me a nostalgic feeling of tree climbing, rope swinging and adventure courses, which as an adult I don't get to experience much anymore. Throughout the course there will often be two or three different options to complete each section, offering different levels of danger and skill. This choice usually pushed me to try the more difficult levels which gave a more exciting experience. In the Camp Discovery area, there are also walking trials and a hands-on dig site for the kids, so there is something for all ages. So that is all the current attractions at Shanghai Disneyland. Now let's take a quick look at what's to come over the next few years. In early 2019, it was announced that Shanghai Disneyland will add an eighth new land based on the hit film Zootopia. This will be the first ever Zootopia land and will include restaurants, shopping and entertainment, as well as a new state-of-the-art attraction. Other than the concept art and these construction photos, nothing more has been announced other than it will be opening sometime in 2021. Hopefully, it won't be much longer until we get more updates on this new exciting land. Shanghai Disneyland Resort is still very new at only four years old. But depending on its success coming out of the coronavirus lockdown, there is enough space for expansion. I look forward to the development of new theme parks, hotels, and other exciting things that will be coming over the following years. I hope you enjoyed this video detailing all the current and future attractions at Shanghai Disneyland. And let me know which are your favorite attractions in a comment down below. Thanks for watching.